today's video is going to be all about the Next.js router. This video is going to cover the fundamentals of the router, and then future videos are going to cover kind of more advanced things when it comes to the router, when getting into dynamic routes, generating those at build time, and different things like that. So in this video, we're going to talk about creating routes and just the fundamentals of how their router works. So here at the Next.js docs, and we're going to show you an example of doing this. We're going to actually start up VS Code and create just like a demo app showing you how this router works. But here at the docs here, you can see that Next.js uses a file system based router where folders are used to define routes. And we'll we'll cover what exactly that means here in just a sec. But each folder represents a new route segment that maps to a URL segment. To create a nested route, you just have to nest folders within each other. So here in this diagram, you can see that in a Next.js application, you're automatically going to have this app folder when you create a Next.js app. But this is going to be your root segment here. So that's when you're, you have your domain name. And if you're just at your home kind of domain, your root of your domain here, you're just going to show your kind of app segment. And then following that, if we have forward slash dashboard, well, that is going to map to your folder within your overall app called dashboard. And then if you have forward slash dashboard, forward slash settings, that's going to map to a folder called dashboard. And then within that folder called dashboard, you're going to have a folder called settings. So you have your root segment or folder, and then you're going to have your dashboard segment or folder. And then within that dashboard, you're going to have your nested segment of settings. And in this example, they call this the leaf segment because it is the child most segment here. But that's not all you need to do to define public routes. So if you want to actually make a URL route public in which if you go like to slash dashboard, you can actually access that within your app. You actually need to add a special page within that folder. And that special page is called page.js or this could also be jsx or tsx and for this page.js file next.js will automatically make this a public route so here in this example here for our root segment here just in our app folder we have a page.js file so when someone visits this kind of the root segment just you know forward slash there's no like slash dashboard slash settings it's just the root of your application. They're going to see whatever UI that you decide to show within your root page.js file here within your overall app segment. And then further on, if you have your kind of dashboard folder within your app, when you go to forward slash dashboard, the user is going to see whatever you decide to show within your page.js file within your dashboard folder. And then within that nested settings folder that's within your dashboard, the page.js file within your settings folder is what is going to show to the user when you access forward slash dashboard forward slash settings. And then if you have another folder that doesn't have a page.js file, well, that's not going to be an accessible route or a public route within your application. So here they have a folder called analytics, but they don't have a page.js file within it. So if you tried to go to forward slash dashboard, forward slash analytics, you, you would get a not found because you don't have a page.js file. You're not making that public yet. And they go on to explain this right here. So the dashboard forward slash analytics URL path is not publicly accessible because it doesn't have a corresponding page.js file. And they go on to say that this could be useful because you could create folders called like components or style sheets or images. And you could keep those right in those kind of route segments that you use them. So you could have your dashboard components, your settings components, so on and so forth. But as long as those folders don't have a page.js, they're not publicly accessible. And you're not going to actually create a bunch of different routes with those different pages there. Okay. So to create a new route segment, you create a new folder within your application. And to create nested routes, you create nested folders. But to make those folders publicly accessible URLs that you can visit, you need to have a page.js file within those folders. So you might have a bunch of different page.js files within your kind of application, but 
the key is what folder they're in is going to be the accessible route that they are. So now let's head on over to VS Code and actually spin up a Next.js app, just like a demo app, and show you kind of how this works in practice. So I'm here within my terminal and I'm just going to use this command here to create a new Next app. I'm going to do npx create Next app at latest. And when I run this, it's going to give me a few different prompts. So need to install the following packages. Yes, I am okay with that. Project named, I'm just going to name it routing. Would you like to use TypeScript? We're just going to go with no for now. Would you like to use ESLint? Sure, we'll go ahead. I don't want to use Tailwind. I don't need an SRC directory, that's fine. And I am going to use the app router. And app router is a kind of new thing in Next.js and the latest version. So we're covering the latest version here in this video. Would you like to customize the default import alias? No, that is fine. And now it's gonna create my next app here. So I'll give this a second to create here and then we will spin up this application and show you how the routes work. So now that I've created this app here, I'm going to head on over to VS Code. I'm gonna open my folder here within my documents page and I'm gonna just open my routing folder. So now I have a new project with what has just been created here. So you can see here in my project, I have this app folder. So this is going to be my root directory right here. And then my page.js within my app folder, this is effectively right now anyways, going to be my, my home page. So if I start my app here and I go to my home page, I should start seeing this UI here. So get started by editing app forward slash page.js. And then I should also see some text that says explore the next 13 playground, so on and so forth. So let's actually, now that I'm in my routing folder here, let's do npm run dev. And this is going to start my server on port 3000. And it looks like it has done so here. So if I go back to my browser and go to localhost 3000, I should see this. And you can see here at localhost 3000, I see the get started by editing at forward slash page.js. I see this Next.js logo, docs, learn, templates, deploy, so on and so forth. And just generally speaking, I like Next.js's kind of UI that they have. I think this looks pretty good and it's kind of fits within my style as well. So with that, we have this root layout showing within our app folder here. So app and page.js is what is showing. So how can we create some more routes here? So say I want to go to forward slash dashboard. How can we create that? Well, this might be a good time for you to kind of try this on your own if you're following this along on YouTube. But the way that we can do that is within my app directory here, I can create a new folder and I can call that dashboard. And then within my dashboard folder, I just need to create a new file called page dot, and I'm going to use JSX just because I like the little icon here better. You could use just JS and that's just fine, but I've used a JSX. And then I'm going to do export default function dashboard. And I'm just going to return an H1, and it's just going to say, dashboard. So now if I go back to my application here and I go to forward slash dashboard, what you're going to see is my H1 with dashboard here. So this is one thing I really love about Next.js. I didn't need to npm install React Router DOM, do all the boilerplate, setting up my router, wrapping it in my application. You just have this out of the box in Next.js where I created my dashboard folder, created my page.js within that folder, and I go to dashboard and I can see that there. So let's create a couple more outs here. So let's also create a about folder, and then I'll create an about.jsx here, and I'm gonna do export default function about, and I'm just going to return an h1 with about and let's also create a nested folder so within my dashboard folder let's create a new route segment here called settings 
And then within my settings, I'm going to create a new file called settings.jsx. And I'm going to export default function settings. And I'm going to return an H1 that just says settings. So now if I go to forward slash about, I should see my 404 page. So I did something wrong here. So let's go back to about. And yes, what I did is I named it about.jsx and I did not name it page.jsx. So that's actually a good kind of thing to actually show you here. And I did the same thing right here. So that's a good thing to show you right here is when doing this, it really does need to be called page.jsx, js or tsx. Because if you don't do that here, you are just going to get a 404. You're not making that a public route. So let's rename those to pages here. And now if I go to the about, I see about. And if I go to dashboard, I see my dashboard. And then if I go to dashboard forward slash forward slash settings, you see that I get my settings page. And then let's also create another folder here. So I have about dashboard. I'm running out of names here. Let's just name it blog, but let's not add a page.js to this. And then if we go try to visit blog, we should see a 404 page because we did not make this a public route. And I'm not sure why I went to blog one there, but just going to blog, we go to a 404 page here. So within Next.js, the way routing works, it is a file-based routing system in which creating a new folder within your kind of overall app folder is going to make a new route segment. But to actually make a route publicly accessible to where you can go up to you, your URL and go like forward slash dashboard, forward slash settings, you need to create a page.js or JSX or TSX file within your route segment. And that will actually create a public page that user can actually see here. And to create nested routes, you would just create a folder within a route segment and create your nested route that way and add a page dot whatever file into that folder or route segment as well to make that publicly accessible. So hopefully this gives you a good idea on how the kind of app routing works within Next.js, but we have a lot more to cover here. Next up, we're going to cover pages and layouts here, and then we'll kind of continue through other things that you should know about the router within Next.js.